Hey guys, this is part two of my basic chemistry review. All right, I'm just jumping right on in and I am pre-med mama. Thanks for being here on this video. If you're new here, welcome. Um, and if you already know me, glad you're back. What are the five main components of Dalton's atomic theory? What year was Dalton's atomic theory? Um, Dalton's atomic theory was 1808. Um, and the five main components were firstly um, that all matter is composed of tiny particles called um, atoms. Um, secondly, that the atoms of an element are the same as other atoms of that element, same properties, same mass, and um, atoms of one element are different from atoms of another element. Um, the third one was the law of conservation of mass. So the third point in his atomic theory was this idea that matter cannot be um, created or destroyed in a chemical change. Um, the fourth point was um, Proust's uh, law of um, constant composition, also called law of definite proportions, um, which just says that um, a given compound always contains exactly the same proportions of an element by mass. Um, so if you have a compound, that given compound will always contain um, the exact same proportions of the various elements in that compound by their mass. Um, and then finally, um, the last point in Dalton's atomic theory is his law of multiple proportions, um, which we just talked about a little bit ago. When two elements form a series of compounds, the ratio of the masses of the second element that combines with one gram of the first element can always re be re sorry can always be reduced to small whole numbers. So he said that basically a fraction of an atom doesn't exist, you either have a whole atom or no atom. So that was the fifth main point of Dalton's atomic theory. Who disproved Stahl's phlogiston theory? Right, so Stahl had his phlogiston theory in 1703, and um, the person who disproved it um, was Lavoisier, who was also working with combustion and came up with the law of conservation of mass. Um, disproving the idea that phlogiston was a substance that leaves um, the products when they're burning. Um, so Lavoisier in 1774 said the law of conservation of mass, which is that um, matter is neither created nor destroyed during a chemical change. What did Einstein say that's the same as Lavoisier's law of conservation of matter and energy? Right, so Einstein said that um, matter can never be lost, it is converted into energy. What was the main thing that Becquerel discovered? Sure, so the main element that Becquerel discovered in 1896 was uranium. What was the main element that Marie and Pierre Curie discovered? Right, so in 1898, Marie Curie and her husband discovered polonium and radium. Um, what are the three kinds of radiation in their charge? There's alpha particles, those are positive, beta particles are negative, and gamma particles are neutral. Um, what do I need to know about the scientist Thompson and his contributions? Right, so um, Thompson in 1897 is most known for his cathode ray tube experiments and his plum pudding model. Um, so he was setting cathode ray tubes in 1897. Um, cathode ray tubes have some keywords that help me remember about it. The words include evacuated, voltage, cathode, which has a negative charge, anode, which has a positive charge, um, that cathode charge was deflected by a magnetic field, attracted to positive charges, which pulled it um, through towards the anode. The cathode ray was negatively charged, as I already said, um, found the cathode ray particles, and discovered um, a charge to mass ratio, negative 1.76 times 10 to the eighth coulombs per one gram. Okay, what was Millikan known for in what year? Um, Millikan was known for his oil drop experiment in 1909. Um, he found the mass of an electron and the charge of an electron to be negative one. Um, yeah. What was, in, what was the atomic particle discovered after the electron? It was a proton. Um, what tool was used to discover the proton? Um, that would be a cathode ray again cathode ray tube. And protons are what kind of charged particle? Protons are positive, they have a plus one charge. 
What are protons attracted to? A negative charge. Um, what's a neutral atom? Neutral atom is an atom with an equal number of electrons and protons. Um, who discovered neutrons? Chadwick. Also, the mass of a neutron is almost equal to the mass of a proton, and the nucleus of an atom has protons and neutrons in it. And protons and neutrons have a much heavier um, mass or weight than um, electrons do. Who proposed the plum pudding model? Thompson. Um, Rutherford disproved the plum pudding model. How? He disproved it with the gold foil experiment, um, showed the rays deflecting. He proved the presence of a nucleus in the center of an atom, um, showed the mass of an atom, positive charge protons are concentrated in the nucleus. So Rutherford is credited with discovering protons. What does the modern model of the atom consist of? A proton, a neutron, an electron. And of course, the proton and neutron make up the nucleus of the atom. What are the characteristics of an atomic nucleus? Positive, charge, massive, and dense. And a ratio in terms of giving you a sense of size is a nucleus is to an atom what a marble is to a stadium.